Okay, I'm going to call you guys back over here, um, and we're going to go over this super quick, and then we're going to practice writing a paragraph, and whatever is left in your packet, you get to do for a full word. Okay, so <laughs> we're supposed to put a T by the topic sentence, and S for the others that would be then supporting sentences, so we know we only have one T. So let me read them out. Amy always understands me. Amy is special to me. I think Amy is beautiful. I love the wild way Amy dances. Wow, Amy's quite something. So out of these, which would be your topic sentence? Amy is special to me. Amy is special to me, yeah. Then every other idea or sentence that's left supports the idea of why Amy is special to me. Okay, awesome. Let's take a look at the next one. To me, my father is a great man. My father is an excellent lawyer. My father loves his family. My father always has time for me. Which one would be our topic sentence? A. Yes. Can you tell me why? Um, why is that our topic sentence? Well, that's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. <laughs> all of these things underneath, he's an excellent lawyer, he loves his family, he always has time for me, they all tell us why the father is special, mm -hmm. right? So they're all very good supporting sentences. Good job. Okay, last one. Chris likes to have a good time. Chris is short and has wavy brown hair. Chris is one of my favorite people. Every day Chris runs several miles. Which is our topic sentence? Chris is one of my favorite people. Chris is one of my favorite people. Everything else tells us why Chris is one of that person's favorite people. Okay, so the rest is for you guys to do at home and for you at home to do. The next one is to uh, find a good topic sentence for these paragraphs that you see there. Then you're going to analyze this paragraph. Same thing we did here in class. So what is what do you like about this paragraph? Is it a good minute? Don't worry about doing a lot of writing, just some little notes that tell me your thoughts about this paragraph. And then you're gonna do some katyas on these with subjects and verbs. That'll be fun. A whole bunch of katyas. And then you're gonna edit your own writing. And then I've also given you a checklist to revise your own writing. So if you didn't hand in writing last week, you're going to be like, what, when you get to this part? So don't worry, I'll talk to you about that later. But if you did hand in writing last week for last week's packet, I will give it back to you and you'll get a chance to edit yourself and maybe revise it as well. Take some ideas out and put some ideas in. But right now, we're going to practice this whole idea from start to finish with writing a paragraph together here in class. Yep. Okay, one second. All right, so we are just going to, actually this gives you guys a good chance to brainstorm while I'm, <laughs> okay, so our topic is going to be fall, the season of fall. So with your partner, I want you to think of every possible word you can think of when you think of fall and have one of you write it down. You, both, you don't both need to write it down, but I want you guys to brainstorm on the topic of fall. What about fall? I don't know. Anything you think of when you think of fall. Okay, so do that for five minutes. 